high school is playing good competition and you are balling out against this competition, you know how good that looks on you. Going against the best every single day and you balling out against the best, especially if you're a freshman. I, I, I can't hype y'all up too much because I don't want you lining up against a four-star corner and getting jammed to the back of the bus. I don't want that for y'all. Through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. But what is going on y'all boys, it's can 25 it's another video and today I will be showing you guys how to be a standout player your freshman year. Disclaimer, as a freshman you really should not be focused on D1 offers and all of this stuff. A freshman and sophomore year are really supposed to be the years that you're supposed to develop and become the player you're supposed to be your junior and senior year. That's how it's supposed to be. But some kids, they just are ballers straight out the womb. They have that X factor that they can really get these offers their freshman year. And I'm going to tell you guys how you can be a standout player and receive those opportunities your freshman and sophomore year. If you do not get the things your freshman and sophomore year, this doesn't make you any less of a football player. It just means you got some stuff you need to work on. Now I want to thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Make sure y'all hit that like button and subscribe and comment down below what tip you guys love most about this video but also stay to the end because there will be a bonus tip for y'all so do not skip the video make sure y'all stay to the end because this tip will honestly give you a whole different outlook on this without wasting any more time let's get into the video tip number one is go to camps Going to camps will get you noticed by these schools and put you on their radar. That is the best way to get noticed by these schools. So the best camps you would try to probably want to go to is the Rivals camps, the Under Armour camps, the Nike opening camp. You want to go to those three top camps. And then you want to try to go to like the Under the Radar, the Footballville camps, those type of camps to get yourself on the radar. Going to camps will really help you get on the radar. And if you really are like that, all you got to do is ball out and people will see you. I don't know what they they be feeding these eighth graders sometimes. Some of them be absolutely crazy coming out the womb, and they really like that for real. That's how my son's gonna be. He, he gonna be coming out the womb, bitch, at 225. Oh, 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 gonna be the next DK Metcalf at three years old. Going to camps is one way to get yourself on the radar and be a standout freshman. That's tip number one. Tip number two to be a standout freshman is seven on seven. Oh my gosh. When I tell you guys seven on seven is like the AAU basketball of football, seven on seven will put you on the radar. If you are making plays on these top seven on seven teams, there is no way these schools can't see you because everybody is watching at these seven on seven camps. And if you play for the right seven on seven team that can put you on the radar and you're a baller, there's no reason why these schools shouldn't be seeing you. I know players who get their offers strictly off of seven on seven. And if you are a freshman balling on these top seven on seven teams, they will notice you. When you go to the big tournament at IMG, everybody's watching. 247 Sports, Rivals, ESPN, they see you. Disclaimer, once again, if you are really like that, then this will help you. But if you go to these camp getting locked up, you are just gonna end up on somebody's highlight tape. If you guys really are ready for this, then go out there and compete. But if you guys are still developing, don't be afraid of competition, but still, I'm not saying underestimate yourself, but just know, <laughs> you know what I mean. That's all I gotta say. Let's move on to the next tip. Whoa, I hit recorded job, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming. Play on varsity as a freshman or get playtime on varsity. That will really help you. Having a varsity film as a freshman is really good. It's not something many people could do. Some people are late bloomers, some people are early bloomers. Some of these kids reach their best potential at the youngest ages. They start going up from there, and then the sky is the limit. Like I said, some of these kids come out the womb bench at 225. I wasn't one of those kids. I'm still developing, but you you may be one of those kids who are still developing too. You should not be mad at that. You just gotta focus on your grind and not worry about others because this is truly a journey. You just gotta enjoy the process. But if you really are like that your freshman year, you can play varsity your freshman year and get some PT. And when you out here competing with the older guys going crazy, routing them up, hitting them, locking them up, you know how good that looks on you? Especially if you play for a school that plays good competition. And that will lead us on to the next tip. Now these cars and planes, I'm always boarding. Just out touring. 
and down in Charlotte like I play for Tip number five, play for a high school that plays good competition. Look, I live in Florida and I go to Atlantic Community High School, the, arguably the best high school in Palm Beach County. And we play competition. The school I went to before, we would, we would have really played competition like that. But now I transfer, it's real out here. If your high school is playing good competition and you are balling out against this competition, you know how good that looks on you. Going against the best every single day and you balling out against the best, especially if you're a freshman. Oh my gosh, the colleges are gonna go, ooh, they gonna go crazy on you, bro. Pause, pause. But uh, if you balling on schools like St. Thomas and Modern Day, you just a freshman, I, I, I can't hype y'all up too much because I don't want you lining up against a four star corner and getting jammed to the back of the bus. I don't want that for y'all. You guys can't really control what state you live in. Just ball out against any competition that you're faced with. That's all I gotta say. When I'm performing, never boring. Now you can't afford it. I hate bringing this one up, and I explain this to you guys all the time. Grades, 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 grades. At my school, you will not see the field if your grades ain't right. You guys need to get your grades right. You guys need to have at least above a 3.0. It's not that hard to study field test. Listen, I get it. Football be taking out all y'all energy. School is important for y'all though, because if you guys don't get the football scholarships you want, you can at least fall back on these academic scholarships. You can get into the school you want and just walk onto the team. Listen, walking onto a school is a whole nother story, but these academic scholarships can help y'all also and you can get extra money. That's why you guys want to do good on the SAT, even though it's not mandatory to take, you still want to take it. You guys want to take the SAT, have a good GPA, and apply for these academic scholarships. Especially as a freshman, you want to get your GPA as high as possible. Just do your homework, turn in your work. Listen, I know sometimes you feel lazy, but I don't like school at all. But you guys got to realize, if you want to truly go somewhere in life, you have to do the things that you don't want to do. And school is one of those things that you would just have to get through to do something that you love, and that's be on the field. Let's move on to the next tip. Play other sports. Listen, if you play football, track, basketball, three sport athlete right there. If, you, if you're just athletic, you can play those three sports right there. The colleges will love it. Absolutely love it. And the thing is, those sports are all year round, especially track. I played football and track, and track has helped me with my speed. I'm telling you, track speed and football speed are the same thing. If you're fast on the track, you're gonna be fast on the football field. If you're not the fastest person, being a part of track will help. Playing multiple sports will help you. Colleges love multiple sport athletes. They love those players who are versatile playing multiple sports. Just playing multiple sports Sports will definitely help you be a standout player. So let's move on to the next tip. Just go out there and ball out is the final tip to be a standout freshman. Listen, you gotta be confident in your skills. Even if you're not that good, you still gotta walk around confident in how good you are. It took me some time, but this football thing is all a mindset thing for you. I'm telling y'all, when I got myself right up here, it was a no-brainer to just go out there and ball. Even if I looked like I was running a 5-3, I still went out there and did what I did. Even if I didn't look like the best player out there, I still had in my head that I was the best receiver to walk out there on that field and that's how y'all mindset gotta be you just gotta block out everything everybody says and you just gotta believe in yourself have confidence in yourself what helped me is continuing to repeat to myself i'm the best receiver out here i'm not dropping no balls any db that lines up in front of me getting routed up straight like that i'm not afraid of anybody here and i'll just lift myself up and pray to god and just ask him to give me strength so i could ball out as usual at this event and every time i did get discouraged i would continue speaking to myself and continue speaking life into myself so I could get rid of the doubt in my head because I know how hard I work to be here. I know how hard I work to be able to do these things. I prepared too much just to come out here and fail. I'm not afraid to fail, but I came out here to ball. I'm tired of losing. Don't you get just get tired of failing and losing all the time? I get tired of losing. So I'm gonna go out there and ball. I done dropped the ball too many times to drop it this time. I done dropped too many game winners to drop this game winner. I'm gonna catch it and we about to celebrate. Let's go. The bonus tip, don't be focused on the D1 offers as a freshman. Be focused as getting better. As I said before, if I haven't said already, as a freshman or sophomore, you should be focused as developing your skill to become the player you are supposed to be your junior and senior year. You should not be worried about recruitment. Just go out there and ball out. The seven on seven, the camps and stuff like that, that stuff is really for your junior and senior year. But if you are really like that, you can go to these things your freshman and sophomore year. And it doesn't matter if you are not like that yet at your freshman 
freshman or sophomore year. You still gotta be confident in your skills and go out there and ball out. You still gotta be confident in how hard you work. And another thing, not everyone is D1. I'm sorry, but if you are 5'5", five, five, run a 5'3", and you are 130, you guys honestly need to be realistic. I'm not doubting y'all at all, but maybe D2 is a good option. I'm just saying that, but of course, you may grow, but I'm just keeping it real with y'all. Uh, I love y'all, but football is not for everybody. Going D1 is not for everybody. Disclaimer, I'm editing the video, but what I also wanted to say is stop making it look like it's D1 or bust. It is not D1 or bust. There's plenty of D1 players, plenty of D2 players, plenty of D3 players who have made it to the NFL. If you are a baller, the NFL will find you. Of course, you should strive to be greater. I'm telling you right now, this football stuff does not last forever, so enjoy it while you have it. I'm telling you guys this because I love y'all and I honestly want every single one of y'all who watch these videos to succeed. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe, show some love in the comments, because there will be more bangers coming out. Turn on post notifications, because you know your boy be coming out with bangers every week. You know your boy tries to come out with bangers every week. It's Ken 2 5 I'm going to see y'all boys in the next one. Peace out. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal.